Hello and welcome back to Color Your Voice Workshop, the virtual edition number nine. Last week we worked on a simple physical warm up for your body with Zoe Swenson Graham. This week we're going to jump right into a simple vocal warm up that you can do again right before a performance or whenever you need to use your voice. This can be done in your car or in a, a space that you feel comfortable in. So last couple times we've worked on our voices, we've worked on our resonators and trying to get the most out of your all of the voice that you can possibly produce. And that was with Zuo Shaw back in week four with Regina Morones, if you remember. Zoo, zoo, mutiny, mutiny. Whoa, whoa, go home, go home. The second thing we worked on was connecting your breath to your voice, to your body, with the workshop we did with Carrie Lynn Bradshaw back in week six. That almost sounded like an instrument. That didn't even sound like a voice. That was amazing. This week, we're going to try and combine all of those into a very simple warm up that you can do again right before your performance. So, the first thing that you want to do is put in as much oxygen into your body by doing some simple deep breathing. Second thing we'll work on is some nice gentle sounds to just warm up those vocal cords. And the third and last thing we'll do is warm up your articulators, your mouth, your lips, your tongue, and get those so that you can use them rather easily. Um, and lastly, we'll do some tongue twisters. For your tongue twisters, I suggest that you pick things that you have most difficulty in pronouncing. For me personally, it is rubber baby buggy bumpers and Swiss wrist watch, Irish wrist watch. I find those two tongue twisters particularly tough. What I'm going to do right now is run through my own personal warm up. I will do the warm up um, twice through, one time for you to see what I'm doing and one time to practice with it yourselves. So here we go, starting again with some nice deep breaths. into yawning. <sighs> the second leg I like to do on voice. And now we'll move into simple humming. Next, we'll do what I call alarms, using your voice from top to bottom. Here we go. Next, we're going to do some simple whinnies, like a dog whining. Next, a gentle shakeout of all of the vowels. Ah, ah, ooh, ee, oh, nice and simple. Next, blowing out our lips and our tongue. Maybe even do a little bit of spitting with your tongue. And to add in a little bit of sound with that, bree, bray, bra. Bree, bray, bra. Next, we'll do some simple sounds. 
Badaga. 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 Pa te ka. Pa te ka. And without voice, pa te ka. 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 And lastly, we'll do some tongue twisters. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, Irish wristwatch, Swiss wristwatch, and my favorite, to sit in solemn silence on a dull, dark dock in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock, awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock from a cheap and chippy chopper on a big black block. And with those warm-ups, I hope you'll be able to use those anytime you're ready to perform, which I hope will be soon. Uh, next week, we're looking forward to where you would actually place your monologue or poem. And the week after that, I will be asking for any submissions that you might have uh, been working on. Again, either poems or monologues from these characters that you, you have created from week one of using I Want Songs as your inspiration. And with that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week, folks. Uh, take care, take care of each other, and we'll see you next week. Bye!